Welcome to the GEM video training series. My name is Alicia Coduras and I am the GEM National Expert Survey Coordinator. In this session, we will learn how to recruit experts for your panel and how to complete the NES request for proposal. Firstly, you should designate a member of your team who will be responsible for the NES. This is important to establish this at the start to ensure that all requirements are met and that documents and data are submitted correctly and on time. Then, to start building your panel of experts, you should make a long list of institutions and persons, 20 or more, that are associated with financing for entrepreneurs in your country. The list should include banks and building societies, venture capital associations, business angels associations, informal investors, entrepreneurs and public agencies that offer funds for entrepreneurs. Any person, firm or institution with a connection to the financing of startups can be included in this list. When you have made your list, make contact with these institutions, firms or persons. Briefly explain GEM and the purpose of the NES and invite them to participate as an expert. You might propose that their institution be cited in the national report. You could send them an electronic copy of the report and also invite them to the lunch event if they are local enough to attend. Your objective is to get at least four experts to agree to participate. Continue contacting institutions and people until you have enough. Do the same thing for the other entrepreneurial framework conditions. There are many sources of information you can use to find potential experts from the internet to government agencies to chambers of commerce. Here you can see different types of experts that might be used to evaluate for entrepreneurial framework conditions. Please note that these lists are not exhaustive. Anyone with a legitimate connection to the EFC can be considered. Here are possible experts for the remaining framework conditions. As experts agree to participate in your survey, you should fill out the NES Request for Proposal or Survey Report. This is an Excel file comprising five sections. The introduction, information about your team, the list of proposed experts, codes for open questions and information for the online survey. Let's take a look at main pages in the document. The first page is basic instructions which you should read carefully. On the next page, you should fill out the name of your country, region or city, your country code, usually provided by the data team, and how you will be interviewing experts online or face-to-face. -face. You are encouraged to use the online method as this is much more efficient. You should only use the face-to-face -face option if absolutely necessary. The second part of the page 2 gives information about the submission deadline, where you should send it to, and the file name format. The third page is the core of the document. Here you will find several columns in which you must list important information about each expert. The list is organized by the entrepreneurial framework conditions. Experts are numbered from 1 to 36. The first set of experts relate to financing and the last relate to social and cultural norms. In the first column, you should explain why you have chosen this person as an expert for the EVC. In the second column, you record when the expert has participated in the NES before, if applicable. The third column allows you to list the name of the expert or an identification code. In addition to these columns, there are others which allow you to note experts' contact details, sources of contacts, response to interview requests, and more. If you are conducting your survey using the online platform, you do not need to complete page 4 and should move on to page 5. The first section asks you to provide a translation of some key sentences 
which appear in the online platform. For example, when an expert fails to respond to a question. The second part asks for the email addresses of a team members to allow for review and monitoring. This system provides your team with regular updates on the status of your online NES. Finally, you are asked to indicate whether you intend to include any optional sections. That concludes our look at building a panel of experts and the NES request for proposal. Thank you for taking the time to watch this training video. I hope it has been helpful. As always, please do not hesitate to contact me or my colleagues with any questions and we will be pleased to help. It's a pleasure to work with you on GEM.